Uh, I'm going to demo a, a SharePoint application that has been developed in Android device. SharePoint basically uses two ways of authenticating the server. One is the basic one and the other one is the NTLM. NTLM is more secure and uh, uh, that is used widely uh, in, in, in authenticating the server. Uh, here I have used NTLM uh, to demo the application. I am typing my username password here. Password. Password is slightly complex because that has been generated from the system itself for security purpose. I've typed in the password and log in. Uh, this SharePoint application is developed in 2013. Uh, we have also got uh, older versions like 2007, 2012, etc. So this is the latest one. Here uh, we uh, we have the home screen here. I have uh, my SharePoint, which is linked to the website of the SharePoint, and the calendar, which will show the calendar of events that has been recorded in the SharePoint, and the documents. So document basically, uh, you, you can upload any type of documents to the server that can be viewed through app, through this application and also through the website. So first we will see uh, the SharePoint server, I mean the website. You, you are seeing uh, the website, uh, which is a mobile friendly view of the website. You can see the calendar, the documents, the form templates, pictures and all those here, items here. So if you want to check the calendar, you can just tap on the calendar and you can see the calendar here. You can check the previous day, next day, and things like that. And you can also add an event by tapping the new event here. So this is basically a website that has been loaded uh, in the application browser view. So this is view within the application itself. Now you can just go back. And uh, uh, now we'll see the calendar view of the application. You can tap on the calendar item to view the calendar view. Here, currently I don't have any events for today. I can change my date to see any events in the previous day. Okay, I'm setting Jan 16th. I can see the events here, team meeting, business analyst meeting, etc. So this is how you view the calendar uh, events uh, from the Android SharePoint application. And here uh, you will have uh, all the documents that has been uploaded to the SharePoint server. You can tap on the documents to see the documents that is available in the server. You have got uh, three documents here, uh, two PDFs and JPG file. You can upload any documents and this is being linked to the uh, you know, default uh, viewer of the app uh, within the application itself. You can just tap the JPG image. Now it's downloading from the server. Okay, uh, that has opened uh, the default viewer settings. So you can choose any of the viewer to view the image. Here you can see the image that has been downloaded from the SharePoint server. You can go back and download the PDF to view the PDF file. So that's how you use a SharePoint application uh, from Android.